This is the welding area where the frames are welded up using the jigs. Once the frames are welded, they come in two pieces. Fuselage in the tail rear section. In the rear section, which is this piece that's in the front. Right there. The silver piece is the canopy bottom piece. And in the rear, you have the battery tray, which is not installed and welded right now, but it will be welded. That's where the serial number for the rear section is located. And then for the center section, or the, the front section, you can see here that's where the windshield area is. And then the seat, the front seat, and the back seat. The other place where the serial number for the kits and the airplane are located on the back of the seat of the, the pilot seat right in the front. The frame is a square steel frame and they use hat sections to go around those pieces and that's what the aluminum skin gets riveted to. So that is the overall frame of the T-51. And the shop in the rear by where the, where the frames are welded up, there are, are a couple of fuselages and tail sections that are either being made by customers or by the factory for customers. This one on the end here is a long wing. So it's got the uh, long, wing mod long wing modification which is an option that you can get. And then you can see the frame's been painted green. That's where the engine mount is, the Ford bulkhead. The T sections, or the hat sections, are the silver pieces that have been, you can see the holes have been drilled in there. Uh, those go on the square frame and then the skins get bonded to that with urolane glue and then riveted on into place. The side skins are left open so that parts and pieces can be, and wiring can be done and other work can be done that, that are there. I'm trying not to move too much for you. There's a canopy that's been pulled off. The bottom skirt of the canopy has been done. The fiberglass belly has been put in place. And then inside the wings, like I said, the normal wings end right about here. And that's where the doubler has been put in there to add the extra wing piece. Ailerons or flaps. This has a six gallon wing tank. And then the center section starts right here. And the center section is what mates to the fuselage and has the main tanks. There's a tank on each side of the center section. We'll so I'll have a center section here in a second. The newer models, if they know you're going with a V8, the frame is actually shorter in the front, right there in this section. It's more narrow, it's not as big, you don't have room for a baggage compartment because with the heavy engine on the front um, they pull it back a little bit closer for your center of gravity and that way you put as much as you can in the back of the airplane to balance it out. The factory does the flaps. 
So your flaps and your ailerons are actually completed by the factory for you, as well as the elevator and the rudder. And in this case, you're looking at the horizontal stabilizer, which is of the same construction, has the foam core for the leading edge, has a spar that's built into it, and then you build the builder, builds the ribs and the back section with the uh, aft spar. Rudder comes completed from the factory with the rudder trim, electronic already built into it, and then electronic elevator trim is also an option that you can get. You can see right there the rudder controls for the, the rudder, the fiberglass cap piece for the rudder, and then you can see the fiberglass pieces are actually already installed on top part of the tail section in the rudder. And the final one that's in there has the canopy installed. Here you can see example of the motor with the motor mounts. Electronic access panel. Passenger seat, which is this area right here. And the turtle deck right above that. There's a door on the other side for an access door. Then there's the hydraulic pump for the gear actuators. There's a battery box. The rudder control. See the back rear gear has been installed on this one so you can see the, the ram. And you can see the gear doors that are open on this one. Then there's an option to put a battery box further back, a spare battery, a backup battery, and that's an option that I've elected to have on mine. So that is where you go. And then this one also has the auxiliary fuel tank behind the turtle deck, which is right there. And I believe that is 13 gallons. Here's the center section. So you can see in the bottom area where the wheel well is, that's where the wheels retract into. The factory does this. It also has a styrofoam leading edge for the, the center section. The factory sends it or gives it to you. Pretty much put together, the skins are clicked into place or they're tempor temporarily riveted into place so that you have to take them off to be able to do the work, some of the work that needs to be get, get done. Some of the work that needs to get done is putting in the fuel tanks. So here's the header tank. This is what feeds the engine. And then the auxiliary tanks, the, the two center, wing, center section tanks, feed the header tank, and then all the other tanks feed into the year, the center section tanks. So there's the bays where the tanks would go.